Before we get started in today's video, I just want to give a special shout out to Doug Clonell for sending us the Mishimoto radiator, or radiator, as Dirty Diesels will call it and make fun of me. And Mike Trosky for the Banks Monster Ram 4 inch Monster Ram intake, and Mishimoto for sponsoring us with the intercooler. So I just wanted to give a special shout out to all those, the company and my subscribers for hooking this up, making this video possible for all you. From my family to yours, I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hope you guys have a safe one. Now let's enjoy the video. What do you say? Yes, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the channel. Today's big day. Big day, guys. Intercooler and radiator from Mishimoto going into the beast. Get ready to head over to Dirty Diesels. But before we do that, I gotta stop at Wawa. I gotta get some Skittles for the guy, some monster. Monster for me, yeah. I'm gonna have a monster today, I need it. But I got a little Amsoil tip for you guys. A little Amsoil tip. They got this all-in-one diesel additive. We're gonna be using that today. And you can get that from bsynthetics.com. But let's go, pumped! All right, we're at Wawa. It's kind of dark in here, but this is what we're gonna be using, Amsoil Diesel All-in-One. So it cleans your injectors, lubricates. It's got some anti-gel properties in here. And um, it's gonna have a seatine boost, so a little bit of boost, like, uh, you know, octane boost, but seatine boost. So this is a little eight ounce bottle, you know, and you can get this from bsynthetics.com. We're gonna throw it in the truck. We are on E right now, so you probably, I think you would wanna use, I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't know. I, I've, I've never really used fuel additives uh, in my life. So this is a first. I heard it's very important with the diesel truck, especially during the wintertime months, which we're in. So we're gonna we're gonna give her a shot. Hopefully it um I'm, you know I'm happy with everything else that I've gotten from Ansel so far. I wouldn't support and promote the product if I didn't or sell it. So and speaking of that, thank you guys for all your orders from bsynthetics.com. I really appreciate it. It helps support the channel, it helps support us so we can continue bringing you guys some awesome content. And all the Ram Beast merch orders, man. I'm picking up a big order, and actually we already picked up the big order, and hopefully all you guys got all your stuff before Christmas. We try our hardest to get them out as soon as possible because I know you guys are trying to get them before Christmas. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get this in the truck. Sealed for your protection. So I put some in now and I'll put the rest in midway through so we get a good mix. This eight ounces is good up for 20 gallons. We're gonna go a little bit over that so it's gonna be a little weak, but you know, something's better than nothing. Don't mind me, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, no, I got a camera. There's a camera right there, dude. I'm doing a video for uh, my YouTube channel. <laughs> so doing a little review on the Amsoil all-in-one diesel fuel additive. Oh, gosh. Yeah. People think YouTubers are crazy talking to themselves on camera, but I'm talking to all you. <laughs> Ninety-some dollars later. So you guys go. Amsoil, all in one. Get it. So you go, $91 later. And I had to hook up a fellow Cummins owner with a Ram Beast decal. He's waiting for the pumps. Engine's running about 180 degrees with that fleece cooling bypass. Some of you guys were asking for a review on the fleece cooling bypass. I wonder if that those temperatures will be even lower radiator. It's going to be much more beefier than a stock plastic radiator. You start adding those fueling upgrades. Woof. I know I'm protected now. All right, guys, we're out at Dirty Diesels. It's time. Intercooler. Banks Power Ram Monster Ram air intake. Monster Ram. And a Mishimoto radiator. It's going down. You were trying to call it the Ram Beast intake, weren't you? Yep, Ram Beast intake. Nope. It's just a, it's just a Monster Ram. <laughs> monster Ram. Clean up a little bit. Clean up a little bit. Seed's really dirty. 
Yeah. I am. I'm a little dirty. I don't wear gloves. Me either. Let's go over all the goodies that we're installing today. So Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator. OEM radiators have plastic end caps that are prone for cracking and leaks over time. Especially with increased stress and heat created by power adding modifications like we're doing, and we're gonna continue to do with the Beast, I don't have any worries about that anymore thanks to Mishimoto. So some of the key features with this radiator, direct fit for 2013 and up, Ram 2500 or 3500 6.7 liter Cummins. Increases coolant capacity by 63% and surface area by 41% to maximize cooling. Durable fully aluminum construction with TIG welded end tanks and fittings. Features two inch thick three row core for efficient cooling under high loads. Includes magnetic drain plug to capture any metallic debris or fragments in your cooling system and it also comes with that awesome Mishimoto lifetime warranty. On to the Mishimoto intercooler kit. Improves airflow, substantially decreases air charge temperatures and supports your truck at any power level. Some of the key features, the intercooler kit and piping improves airflow, substantially decreases air charge temperatures and supports your truck at any power level. It lowers air intake temperatures, AITs, by 12.5%. Includes hot side and cold side intercooler pipes and boots. We're only using the cold side, the charge tube, that I had powder coated in blueberry frost by Josh and Aaron's friend in Florida. And his information will be in the description below. Three inch mandrel bent polished aluminum piping, maximizing airflow by eliminating the restrictive bends, allowing for smooth, unimpeded airflow unlike the OEM intercooler piping, which is horrible. Bar and plate construction with cast aluminum intakes. 76.65% increase in internal fin surface area. 37.8% larger core volume than factory. This thing's massive. Includes new air ducts to divert air into the core and new lower fan shroud section. End tanks are designed for optimal airflow. Internal fins designed for maximum heat transfer and minimal pressure drop. Includes the high quality Mishimoto silicone boots with dual core technology and Mishimoto constant tension T-bolt clamps. So first off guys, we're gonna take the whole front end, basically the grill, all this crap, it's all gonna come off. Some of the steps we don't have to worry about because it's already deleted off the truck, but we're gonna get to tearing down now. We're just gonna tear everything down. But man, this stuff looks awesome. I mean, look at that. I think we just go to the dyno now. Just look at it. Well, you're, not, it's nice. you're not feeling the install? <laughs> this is Friday, I just wanna go do fun stuff. Oh, and the one thing I want to mention, guys, we are probably gonna install, since we got the, we're gonna be putting the intake in, today there's ports all in the back of this intake horn to install your, your boost fitting so that's the route i'm going to go make sure it's accurate all the time so i get you know correct information and then we got our egt gauge too we'll probably put that fitting in i don't know if we'll put that in today or not but there's a port on the steed speed manifold for it it's got two ports so here we go fun times boom boom I almost feel bad because uh, we, we just drained this not too long ago. Yeah, it's got a fresh pull on it. Yeah. Hopefully we won't have to do this again for a very long time. Is it drains so slow in this thing? I know, the one thing I did think about was getting that powder coated. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I would just buy a spare one. That's what I was thinking about. I was running out of time though. I was gonna try to get one of your, yeah, your, your nice buddy in Florida. Yeah, it would be nice to do it now. Yeah. While we had to- While like, we drain while and cool it out of it. Oh yeah. Just like that, it's out. No, no more plastic. Actually, no, wasn't that bad wasn't at bad at all. At all. Nope. Maybe we will make it to the diner today. We're gonna make it to the diner, right? I think we will. Yeah, I guess. We already told you two, we have to make it to I know, the diner. I know, I know, I told you two. 
Now that we got the rad out, we're gonna go ahead and remove the intercooler. Oh, well, you have less stuff in that. That makes sense. Yeah. Moving along, guys. Moving along. This is my favorite thing to install on these six sevens. And, uh, Super beneficial. So, super beneficial. Super beneficial. Did you anybody else your engine bay recently? Like on any shows or anything? No, the next show I'm going to is Motorama with Dirty Diesel. Motorama. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna fill Motorama up with diesel trucks. We got the intake horn out. The glacier diesel. Glacier. We're gonna swap. Aaron's already taken it over there. We're gonna swap out the map sensor from the Glacier Diesel intake into the Banks Monster Ram intake. The Banks Ram Beast Projects. Ram intake. Beast Projects intake. <laughs> stickers. I ordered stickers two days ago. And you got them? this place. Nice. nice. We'll put that in the vid. This your view is forgot. This is blueberry frost. And it's Ram Beast. Yeah, Ram Beast. Ram Beast. Oh wow. That was oh, like you, butter. You got it out this time. You get it? Yep. Get away? What I the? Got it. I got it, dude. I think we're going to make it to the diner. I don't know. What yeah. else are we throwing in? Let's go. Just a little sensor. While we have it out, might as well put it in. Somebody spilled the thread seal over there, so I just wiped it on my finger. Okay. I mean, that stuff's like liquid gold anyway, so. Wrong one. I was just testing you. <laughs> I like cans of Coke better than bottles of Coke, unless it's a glass bottle. I've never seen like a pounder of Coke before though. No? No. Well, the Turkey Hill up the street has pounders of Coke. I do like Coke though. Coke. Products like soda. Not like cocaine. That's good. <laughs> Stockman's actually pretty big. Yeah, it's bigger than I expected. That's what she said. It's about five inches. It's about four and a quarter. It's about three quarter inch thicker. Wow, that's a lot more thickness. It's pretty thick. It's definitely heavier. Put the silicone boots on the intercooler piping and then we're gonna fish them into the truck. Hot side's already in there for the Whirly Fab piping. And then uh, we're gonna start installing this guy. And then we bring in, you know, angle it up, and then do the sway bar. Oh, because that one's not in yet. But that one's gonna be right about there. Yeah, it's gonna be way too short. Cause look, I'm already halfway off the pipe with it. Yeah. Well, thanks to me and not doing my thorough research, uh, we, the, the intercooler's in, it's all in. The hot side silicone boot from Ishimoto has a 45 degree bend. Well, I have a second gen swap from Whirly Fab and the piping requires a straight pipe, three inch by three inch, no reducer. And unfortunately, I didn't catch that, but we uh, stole one off of Ford outside. OBS, right? No, no? Our, our Red Dooley. Oh, you're Red Dooley? Yeah. Okay, we stole one off of their truck, and uh, it's gonna work. We are in the process of uh, installing the shroud. We got all the silicone boots in, intercooler piping, charge tube, hot sides. Everything's tightened down, shroud's in, Banks Monster Ram intake is in. Just have a lot of patience when you are connecting your intercooler pipe and your shrouds. Only on the sides. I don't think the shroud fought us though. 
It was the sides that fought us. The, it was, it was right the here. front fence. Yeah. I think if we don't put it in now, we won't be able to get it in. We got tools on tools on tools on tools on Oh. <laughs> tools. That wasn't nice. Or she's like, ah, it's just something important. And she's like, this is going to have to be pulled like this. And this is going to be in He's all in. Can't really see it anymore. <laughs> but it's it's in there. Yeah, oh that's cool. Very cool. Just gotta fill it up with some antifreeze. We'll do it on the road. I don't know if we're gonna get the dino today though. Nah. Tomorrow, maybe. maybe. Tomorrow. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And like the wife says, if you didn't, make sure you give it a thumbs up anyway. If you're stopping by for the first time, make sure you tap that subscribe button. Don't break your phone, don't smash it. And uh, make sure you check out Ram Beast Apparel, rambeastprojects.com. Check out these guys. They're sporting Ram Beast. I'm Steve. Finally. Yeah. That's, that's Steve? Steve. Yeah. Steve? Yeah. Steve. For a, only been asking for a hoodie for like three years. Well, we just picked up a huge yeah. shipment, finally. 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 So. Now you just gotta give us some hats and t-shirts too. Yeah. I, I got them. I don't really wear hats, no. but I wear t-shirts sometimes. Okay, so. we'll, we'll hook you up, we'll hook you up. <laughs> All right, guys, love you. See you on the next upload.